okay guys so welcome back again so in this video let's install fail to ban and we'll be setting a fail to ban for sst service here so let me install fail to ban so sudo dnf install oh, fail to ban and mind you guys that if i want to tell you each and everything about fail to ban then it would take me a couple of videos or let's say 10 videos for fail to ban itself but instead here what i'll do is that that i'll just show you the settings that you need to enable inside your production server so that a fail to ban is up and running so now that fail to ban has been installed let me clear out the screen once again and now let me simply start the fail to ban as a service here so i'll do sudo system ctl start fail to ban like this and now we need to also enable this fail to ban so that it is automatically restarted on server reboots like this and now if i do systemctl status uh, fail to ban we see that the service is active up and running here uh, so now what, what what i'm going to do is that that i am going to create a ssd config file that is jail.ssd config file for fail to ban service so that uh, no attempts no more than three attempts are allowed on your ssh server here so for that what i'm going to do i'm going inside this folder here and for this you need to be sudo here so let me switch to sudo user here and now let me cd into this hc folder and then inside the fail to ban folder and then inside the jail.d folder and here this folder is currently empty or here we simply have this uh, this thing here that is firewall deconf here so this is the only file present inside this folder and here what i'm going to do i'm going to create a new file called jail hyphen ssd dot conf like this because in this uh, jail hyphen ssd dot con file we'll be pasting in the stuff here which is required for fail to ban to work for ssh so now firstly let me paste in something here and then i'll explain it to you that what it all does so let's go to the insert mode here and let me paste in this thing here and let me get out of the insert mode and now i'll explain that what all is here so firstly we have the default ban time here that is one day and this is in seconds here so what it means that whenever we ban an ip or a host then it is banned for one day and then we have this find time in seconds that is 10 minutes 600 seconds amounts to 10 minutes so that it means that if the client is trying to connect to your ssh client and it fails for some reason during a period of 10 minutes and it has tried at most three times then the ip would be banned so this is what is meant by this and then if you want to ignore an ip for some reason that is you want to let's say ignore local host to connect to your ssh client and you want to allow him more than these many tries then you can provide that ignore ip here and then you can ignore this stuff because uh, this uses this fail to ban uses ip tables to ban the client here that is the or uh, who is trying to connect to your ssh agent and then we need to enable this uh, configuration for ssd so we pass an ssd like this thing here inside the square bracket or the box brackets and when then we set it set enable to be true so this is all what is meant by here and now what i'll do i'll simply press escape colon wq to write and quit and now what i'll do i'll simply do let me clear out first and now what i'll do i'll simply say system ctl reload fail to ban and that's all what you need to do to set a fail to ban for ssh and now i can show you a couple of helper helper commands here so that uh, in case you want to see that what uh, who has been banned and who has not been banned so in case you want to see the status of ssd so what you can do you can simply say sudo or we are logged in as a root user so we don't do not need to use sudo here so we'll say fail to ban hyphen client status ssd so we see that currently no one has failed to log in to our ssh agent so it is showing here zero and zero if someone would have been banned then we would be seeing here some numbers but this is how you see that uh, who has been banned or who has not been banned and then if you want to ban a particular ip then you can use the same command that is fail to ban hyphen client and then you need to set sshd ban ip to ban a particular ip and then you need to provide in the ip here like this that is if you want to ban a particular ip then you can use this command that is fail to ban client set set sshd ban ip and the ip you want to ban and similarly to unban an ip 
you simply need to issue instead of ban IP, you need to say unban IP. So this is uh, what you might use uh, like manually, but by default, this uh, SSH, uh, this fail to ban configuration is working for SSH. Like uh, the ban time is one day if the maximum retry count exceeds three in interval of 10 minutes. So guys, this is uh, how we set a fail to ban for our remote server here. So see you in the next one.